Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as Restored Quirky and League. We eliminated the uh, great threat, the Hazar Throng, and uh, <laughs> took up pretty much all of their land and all the land of the uh, our former good friends who uh, were not helped at all by one of the Fallen Empires. I should go back and figure out which Fallen Empire that was and uh, eliminate them at some point for revenge. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, liberate their um, their pops, their, their peoples from the uh, scourge of discovered. their rulers. Uh, terraforming, all right. Resources from jobs plus 5% is pretty nice. Alien Zoo, however, is super cheap. Establishing colony. Okay, so that is this one up here. Alright, some uh, trade deals and such being made. Let's go ahead and get a few more of those going. Down here, we can build that. Why does high gravity give extra districts? Can anyone answer that for me? Because I don't get it. Like, I would actually think that low gravity would make the planet more habitable. I mean... I don't know. It, it just seems weird to me. Not wrapping my head around the logic of it. I mean, I get, like, cheaper pr cheaper cost to uh, build stuff and uh, for low gravity and higher cost to build stuff on uh, low gravity, but... Beyond that... So, clear a dense jungle and we get green hills. Let's go ahead and build a couple of those. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Migration proposals, that's fine. Construction complete. Alright. There we go. You go ahead and build those mining stations. You go ahead and I can't colonize from there, huh? Okay, colonize Lajkut. I'm going to want to get rid of most of those pretty quick, but uh, this is going to be a great science world. It's not a gigantic planet, but... Establishing colony. I'm fine with that. Alright, so I want to get this system taken first. Uh, once again, activate the surveyor. Nine society research all the way over there. Yeah, I'll get it eventually, I'm sure. Construction complete. Construction complete. Technology discovered. Construction complete. Alright, Xenology. Alien Zoo is now available. Uh, ecological adaptation. I See, this, this tends to cause pops to change themselves, and I don't like that. Let's go for this since I have some progress in it, and the longer I wait, the less that will be effective, so... Yeah, I should not clear too many blockers before I can get that. It will be a little while. Do 
nothing really special that this building can have, and this planet can have. So just go with that. I do need some more uh, unity as well. I haven't been getting a whole lot of that. Sensor Array Power Surge. Uh, monitoring systems have recorded an unusual power surge in our sensor arrays. There does not appear to have been any damage. In fact, the brief fluctuation in transferred energy must have temporarily boosted our deep scanning capabilities because a hitherto unrecorded strategic resource has been revealed within our borders. Analysts are still attempting to identify the source of the power surge, though preliminary readings suggest the spike was not caused by external celestial phenomenon. Interesting. All right, so we get uh, one extra exotic resource down here. In Japris. Okay, that's a system that we took from the Hazar. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, I know what that is. Okay. Technology uh, discovered. I think I might be getting the uh, robot uprising. Ooh, let's go with construction templates. Okay, you are done. Now let's go ahead and jump over here. Five months. We'll go ahead and get this uh, dark matter before we open that, that gate. All right. In we go. Pop our noses in there. Construction complete. Who do I have a migration treaty with? I should probably uh, get rid of that. I am leading the pack for uh, victory, at least. Urbanizer, <laughs> 12 out of 2. Yeah, okay, I think we're going to get that. Uh, let's see, I was going to look something up. What was I going to look up? Right. We have one rival set. Let's go ahead and break the migration treaty. Break the research agreement. I mean, we're part of the same thing. I imagine we'll get that stuff, uh... Anyway, I just need more influence right now. Sorry, guys. Okay, you come up here and start surveying these. You come over here and survey that. We'll go with that. Okay, I'm not going to build uh, any more out here for now. Um, I would build that one. If it becomes available. Complete. Engaging enemy fleet. Okay, here we go. Initiating communications. Uh, nope. Sorry. Not right now, maybe later. There we go, all right. When you're done with all those, we'll go ahead and uh, survey. He 
is anomaly detected. All right, uh, we'll leave it be for now. Uh, let's go ahead and send you guys uh, home. Go up here first. All right, someone has just closed their borders to me. Republican Kvefa's systems have closed their borders to me. Well, that's okay. We uh, we already got uh, Capra. The governor has died. There you go. Uh, I should actually see about yeah sectors. You are not in a sector. And, uh, yeah, all of this stuff is not. Whoopsie. Okay, no one's available. It is a new decade, so we did uh, recycle these, but we didn't really get any one good. I will go with you, because you're cheap. I do enjoy uh, saving money <laughs> like that. Uh, you I could probably uh, use. That would probably be good. Um... Oh, good. There we go. Brain slug. Getting a lot of humans, actually. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's just cycle some. There we go. Okay, that is all of our currently... Nope, not quite. You are not in a uh, sector. And I can't put you in a sector yet. All right, that's a little annoying that that is going to be outside of a sector. Oh, well. You get fired. You get fired. And you get fired. There we go. You do not need all of those. Okay, consumer goods is suffering. All right, planets. Construction complete. That's a bureaucratic center. Let's get that. This is a tech world, but uh, don't really want to put any there. You are not quite ready, so let's go ahead and upgrade. Okay, for good measure. Get some civilian industries going down here. And here. And that'll do. Okay. Construction complete. Uh, 
All right, go ahead and uh, jump over there. Get you guys uh, repaired. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. A lot of construction is completing. A lot of construction is completing. All right, go ahead and jump over here. Construction complete. Technology discovered. All right, what did we get? Dark matter drawing, fantastic. I think the focused arc emitters will be a good choice. Go ahead and build that. Come over here. Go ahead and get some upgrades going. Construction complete. Oh, I have another uh, another envoy. Uh, let's see. How are we doing in our federation? I think that I would rather have the envoy here if I can. Yeah, I get two. That'll boost up my weight to 9.6. Ships upgraded. I gotta go, like, cooperative or something one of these days. Ships upgraded. Shielded planet. Uh, that planet is emitting an impenetrable energy barrier that surrounds the planet it orbits. The exact source of the barrier is difficult to pinpoint, but it appears to be coming from somewhere deep beneath the moon's barren surface. Ancient ruins of what must have been a large base of some sort, possibly of a military nature, can be found inside one of the moon's largest craters. It may hold some answers. Curious. Oh, that uh, becomes an archaeological site. Ships Neat. upgraded. Okay. Uh, go ahead and examine that. So I didn't actually get any tech out of those ships, unfortunately. Ruins of a large base complex of some kind can be found inside a large crater on this moon. It must have been abandoned thousands of years ago. The energy barrier that encompasses the nearby planet appears to originate from a source directly beneath this ancient base. Okay. Survey complete. All right. Uh, in that case, go ahead and... No, you're not... Oh, what does that need? Um, just, just a science ship, right? Why can you not do it? In progress. I don't have it in progress. I guess because uh, this ship was orbiting that, it didn't work. All right, let's go move over there. Construction complete. Okay, so I've got enough uh, influence to build two, uh, claim two systems when we open that. Uh, let's see, I think I would like to extend my deal, thank you. Keep getting that uh, research bonus. Okay, so, um, have you been fixed? Yes. Yes. 
go ahead and do that. You've lost two of those. You've lost a lot of Corvettes. And you didn't lose anything. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and build those. All right, star bases. Anything else that I want over here? Uh, I guess we'll just get the hyperlane registrar. I don't need to collect anything, so I'll keep going with that. I mean, it is on a border. It could be a defensive station, but it's not that big of a deal. My fleets need to move through here, so we'll go with the Hyperlane Registrar. Araya. Keep getting more of that. And Hyperlane Registrar. Down over here. That we need a uh, off-world trading company for, Rorius. Hyperlane Registrar is good. Mathrop. Alright, so this is a defensive station. Command center and communications jammer might be good. We'll go with that. All right, Zerus. This is going to be more uh, collective collection and protection. I guess we'll just get a hydroponics bay. Make sure I get more food. Uh, Hadoofus. Hyperlane Registrar. Over here. That leads up there, so it kind of is protection, but also it could collect out there if necessary. But I have set it up to be a protective system, but I don't really need that here, I don't think, anymore. Upgraded. You can get upgraded. Alright, got all that. Off world trading company. Hyperlane registrar and hydroponics. Wondering if I should go for some extra protection. Seems fairly okay. But we'll get a couple hangar bays just to be on the safe side. And the hydroponics bay. Over here. Just more anchorages and uh, hydroponics bay. Uh, Sheliac, we definitely need collection. Same thing over here. That can be upgraded. You can be upgraded. You can be upgraded. You can be upgraded. Alright, Ravanic. You don't really need collection or protection here, so... Let's do that. 
over here. I think I do want collection and protection. Just dismantle that so I can find my way back to it. All right. So I'm losing six consumer goods, unfortunately. So I need to wor really work on that. Construction complete. That's fine. Let's go ahead and watch all of these. Hazel Garland, I'm kind of surprised, has not died yet. Uh, computational overclocking. Our scientists report a recent unexpected rise in CPU clock cycles in several of our research-dedicated supercomputer clusters. Oddly enough, initial attempts at reducing clock frequency in affected units have proven unsuccessful. It has been posited that the spike in computational power could be used to improve our research capabilities. However, this would also necessitate a modest increase to CPU energy requirements. Take advantage of that. Research speed plus 5% for 84 months, minus 500 energy credits. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, I have very few robots, really. Colony founded. All right. Very nice. Okay. Uh, so we can't get any of the generator districts. Let's go ahead and start with some city districts. I don't know that I care about energy or mining districts on this planet, though. Because it has tons of really good rare planetary features. Minus six max districts kind of sucks, but uh, tons of research there. Um, mining districts plus six. Generator districts plus six. Generator districts plus three. Max Crystal Mines plus two, Extraction Wells plus two, and Moat Harvesting Traps plus two. And uh, an additional 15% to all research and eight researcher jobs. I think I'm just going to start by clearing that right off the bat. I think that is worthwhile. I think that is really worthwhile. All right, you're going to get a uh, terraforming candidate. Yep. How many terraforming candidates have I found? Oh, wow, that's... Uh, that is not typically the barren world that I expect. There's another one. Three of them. Wow. I didn't think they, those could spawn on the uh, the cold barren worlds. Oh, uh, before I end the episode, since it is about that time, do I have any... Uh, I do have a savanna world. Okay. Uh, there's an interesting little... I don't want to say glitch, but... Um, I was playing around with the textures for the planets because I, I was like, hey, there are some planets uh, pre-made for me. I should use these as tokens in my Spelljammer campaign. Um, and I noticed that the Savannah world doesn't wrap quite right. If I can find where it is. There's two different textures. They don't wrap quite right. I can find it. I don't want to wait until it cycles again. All right. Well, maybe I'll uh, kick off the uh, start of next episode with that. Yeah, I'm not seeing it right now. Anyway, I like how pausing... Oh, nope. That was not pause. I like how pausing the game doesn't actually stop the rotations. Anyway, when we come back next time, uh, we will uh, hopefully 
open the L gate. I want to. I want to see what's there. Maybe uh, bring down the um, the barrier around that one planet too. That should be fun. I mean, what kind? You know, what's the worst that could happen? I unleash horrors. Pshaw! It'll be fine, right? Right? See you next time, everyone.